Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. So today I wanted to talk about something that's a very simple but nagging problem that I've had other people ask me about and so I finally developed a very simple fix for it. And that is fixing Ubuntu for getting a default sound device. So if you have multiple input and output sound devices connected to USB, Ubuntu desktop can forget your defaults upon reboot or not even just forget them, but sometimes change them to something random. So if you go into the settings and sound, you will see that you have your output device. This is a pull down menu and you have your input device, which is another pull down menu. You can choose the defaults from here and one would think that they would stay the same. Unfortunately, if you have multiple devices upon reboot, that is not always the case. So in order to list out your USB devices, you can use the LS USB command to list them. And you come up with a long list of devices that includes many other things other than just sound devices. But we wanna focus specifically on sound devices. So to list devices that can be used for output, use the command PACCTL list short syncs. On my system, this produced a relatively short list of output devices. Then to list devices that can be used for input, you use the command PACCTL list short sources, and this listed a somewhat longer list. So of curiosity, you will notice that the Blue Yeti microphone is both listed as an output device and an input device. One would think that a microphone would only be listed as an input device until you realize that the Blue Yeti microphone has a headphone jack on it, so it can also be an output device. So we want to use PACCTL to set defaults. PACCTL is the Pulse Audio Control Program. Test with PACCTL to find the devices that you want to be your defaults on your particular system from a terminal. So in my case, I use my Blue Iris Yeti microphone connected to USB as my default microphone, and I use my motherboard built-in sound output for my speakers. We will want to set the default devices that you want every time you log in to assure that the correct devices are selected. To do this, we're going to go ahead and create a script. So in order to build the script, I go into my home folder and I simply created a file named fix audio. So you do a nano tilde forward slash fix audio. We'll edit a file in your home directory called fix audio. The contents of my fixed audio file are basically three lines. So the first line is a shebang forward slash bin forward slash bosh, which is a good habit to get into for creating scripts. Uh, shebang is the pound sign followed by the exclamation point and it is required in a lot of cases where you execute a script through various utilities. So I have two PACCTL commands here. The first is PACCTL sets default dash source and the name of my source which is my Blue Yeti microphone that I found out to be the correct input device and then pack set dash default dash sync and this is my default sound device uh, for my sound output to my speakers. So you want to change the permissions on your fix audio script after you save it and provide it execute privilege with the chmod plus x tilde forward slash fix audio. Then we want to create a new startup application. So you want to go into the Ubuntu Startup Applications Preferences. When you launch the application, you're going to be clicking on Add to add a new startup application. In my case, I'm editing one because I already have it out here. You can name it anything you want, but I, used, I called it Fixed Audio to make it clear what it was for. And then the command is simply forward slash home forward slash Scott, since that happens to be my user account, forward slash fix audio. And then I put a comment here that says, fixes audio devices to be correct. So in summary, USB bus enumeration does not always occur in the same way or the same order when rebooting an Ubuntu desktop. 
This can cause your default input and output sound devices to change. We showed how you can execute a simple application startup script to fix this. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and we'll see you next time.